This is the best I've ever seen a beaver. And I actually saw it something like that. I played around with it a bit. I was driving along the road uh, from our cottage on, in Halliburton, Ontario, a big, relatively new highway cutting through the wilderness. And here was this beaver beside the road. And it was just a few years ago, and I've spent my entire youth trying to be quiet and sneak up on beavers and sit patiently for hours with mosquitoes buzzing around me in the dusk in hopes that I would see a beaver actually come out of the water and, and start doing some of its work on land. I've seen beavers galore in the water and tried to paddle up to them in the canoe and they go kerplop with their tail, etc., and then they dive and warn all the other beavers. But I've never seen one like this before or since. And I think it was perfectly healthy, but uh, I pulled over quite quickly and got in a spot where it couldn't head for the water quickly and got a few photos of it. Um, I think it's quite a powerful picture. It's, uh, especially since the beaver's wet and it's not fluffy, it's got that wet. For the outer guard hairs, of course, are somewhat waterproof and then the inner fluff makes it warm and waterproof as well. And so it's, I, I really enjoyed, it's almost like a bronze sculpture. I enjoyed that aspect. The beaver has basically quite an ugly face. It's got a very long, upper lip and its eyes are up on the top of the head because it's swimming along with most of its head underwater and it wants to be able to see very well and uh, small ears for streamlining also up on top of the head and big huge cheeks and going down to the mouth and jaws for all that heavy duty powerful chewing that they do.